Jason, if it's okay, I want to I want to uh, actually rewind a little bit because Drew, you mentioned a pyramid that mm -hmm. I've never heard of before. Ah, uh, the D I K W. Yes. So, yeah, D I K W pyramid. I don't know what. Yeah. That yeah. Is. Help, yeah. Help, help a brother. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Jason. I, I think you have the you have the uh, sort of designator for uh, knowledge management, so go for it. Yes, yeah, I, I, I was a former knowledge management officer in an earlier life, and um, DIKW is really important to that. So when we talk about DIKW, these are the four types of information that you can have or knowledge. You start at the lowest level, which is data, right? So the number 32, that is a data point. That's a piece of data, but it doesn't really tell you much. If I go to information, you have a little bit more fidelity of that. For instance, I might say 32 Fahrenheit. Now you know a little bit more information, right? Um, and so it's a little bit more than just data because you know what that thing is about. Mm -hmm. When you start moving up and you go D, I, then you go to K, which is knowledge. Now when I say 32 Fahrenheit, well, that is the freezing point of water in the United States and, and any place that is you know, using the, the imperial system, I guess, um, which I think is pretty much just the United States, <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, and so you know, in the United States, 32 F would tell me, hey, that's the freezing point. So if I'm an insurance company, I might know that when the temperature gets down to 32 F, we're going to have a lot more car accidents. We're going to be paying more money. That becomes knowledge because I'm taking the data point, the information, and now I'm extrapolating that with other pieces of information to combine that into some kind of knowledge. And then mm -hmm. wisdom tells me that, hey, if I can work from home, I should just stay home today because it's 32 degrees out and I don't want to deal with snow and ice on the roads, right? Um, and, and so you go from this data to information to knowledge to wisdom. And it's always harder to get up to wisdom, um, but that's where you start learning from your mistakes over time and things like that. So we talk a lot about data science and we get all this data collected. But really, data by itself is not that useful. It's what we do with the data and how we combine it to get information or knowledge from it. And that's where knowledge management organizations was really big in the 90s and 2000s. Now we all go into data science and data analysis instead, but it's it's a lot of the same. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, interesting. I think I showed so, my age there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, not that old, Drew. I mean, you're younger than I am. <laughs> yeah. um, so DIKW, thank you for explaining what that is. Now, Drew, can, how does that help you with RMF. Right. It's understanding it's the context that your information system lives in, right? Mm. And so knowing that you have patient health information is, is great, right? But how is that information used? Where does it start transiting your network? Where is that data stored? What legal complications and regulatory bodies do you have to work with when you have that information, right? And so as you start thinking about, right, 32 may have been a number, but now you start putting that F on it, okay, now you know it's a temperature. And then as you go grow up the period, now you're tied to a person and you know that that was Drew Church's temperature on this date at this time. And now you have mm -hmm. a patient health record, right? And so when you start thinking about how the data comes together and how you need to protect it and where that goes in your information system, um, I think it allows you to really start digging into what that information means um, a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, unpacking that, that acronym and then connecting it to, to RMF. So, okay. Thank you. Now, now I feel like I can focus on the topic. <laughs>